Welcome to my video about writing a science lab conclusion. This one could be good uh, for both science lab reports and for science fair reports. And this is with a character named Joe Schmo. Joe Schmo loves to throw paper airplanes. He's a little ornery little guy and so he just, that's his thing. He just throws paper airplanes and sometimes he throws them when he's not supposed to. Well one day his science teacher assigned an assignment come up with your own science experiment and go through the scientific method and write a uh, conclusion. Well, Joe Schmo beamed uh, with joy. He had the perfect science experiment he wanted to do. He wanted to test and find out what the optimum weight or the best weight for paper airplanes that would make them to go the farthest. And after his vast experience with throwing paper airplanes and doing some research online and not the library, he came up with this hypothesis. If you increase the weight of a paper airplane, then the distance it will travel will increase. And it's a very simple experiment that Joe Schmo came up with. He decided to weight his paper airplane with paper clips. They attached easily to his um, uh, paper airplanes and they weren't too heavy and they were easy to get. So, he came up with a very uh, simple experiment. He had a control group because being the stu science, uh, science uh, student he is, he knew he wanted a control group. So his control group is going to be the paper airplane with no paper weights or paper clips. That way, you know, he can see if weight actually made a difference. And he also was going to use the same airplane the whole entire time, keeping that constant uh, and not a variable. He didn't want to use two, you know, more than one airplane. So he came up with a chart and decided, okay, I'm going to run my experiment. Now Joe, being the great science guy he is, threw his airplane, you know, not too hard, not too light, something that he could, he could continue to do uh, very easily or can, uh, repeat that strength over and over again. So he threw his airplane with no paper clips and it fell and you know it went a, a decent distance but not you know not too terribly far so he was a little disappointed but when he he measured it and he came up to be about three meters not too bad then Joe Schmo picked up his airplane put one paper clip on it He'll get a red paper clip. Put a little red paper clip on here for him. All right, now he throws his paper airplane again. Same strength, same hand, same paper airplane. Just the only difference is he has one paper clip on it. And he throws it. Hopefully, there we go. And it goes a little bit farther. And so he gets out his handy dandy meter sticks and he measures it and notice it goes this time five meters all right so pretty good we're, you know we're getting farther we're making up the second row because you know Joe Schmo sits in the back of the class because you know that's how he rolls um, so he picks up his airplane and puts another paper clip on to make it just a little bit heavier Right, and again, throws it. Tries to throw it the same uh, strength, same hand, same uh, direction, and this time it goes even a little farther. And we're going to say it goes eight meters. Now Joe's getting happy. He's saying, "All right, now I probably can get." close to the front of the room. Whoops, use the paper paper clips. And now I see he's he, you know he's thinking he's getting excited about this next one because with three paper clips he's hoping to go even farther. And so Joe Schmo being ever so careful to try to throw it in the same direction, same strength, same airplane, throws it it doesn't go nearly as far. A little disappointed. Measures. 
Finds out it only went six meters. Well, Joe Schmo is now done with his ex ex science experiment. Or so he thinks. Now, he's ready to write his conclusion. Now, a conclusion has several parts to it. The first part is very simple. You just want to restate your hypothesis. Uh, kind of remind the readers what your hypothesis was, and um, you know, and that's what you're going to. You know, most of your conclusions will be based on. Then you want to st state whether your hypothesis was supported by your data or not, and why and why or why not. Now, be careful. Don't get too harsh on yourself and say, "Oh, you know, I was wrong." Well, maybe not. Maybe your experiment something was wrong with the, your experiment. And you know, like Joe Schmo, he might have some problems with his experiment. Um, and then what you want to talk about is what did you learn? And then the last thing is what could you do the next time? So those are the four things that we want to concentrate on in our um, lab conclusion. So let's go back with Joe Schmo. And let's go, well, we'll write his conclusion. So Joe Schmo goes home. And gets out his computer and starts typing his conclusion because we all know that Joe Schmo's handwriting may not be the best. So, the very first thing we're going to do is restate his hypothesis. And his hypothesis, my hypothesis was that whoop, if you increase the weight of a paper airplane then the distance traveled will increase now next thing we want to do is we want to state whether his uh, data supports his hypothesis. According to my results, my hypothesis was, and then we're going to say somewhat supported. It, was, it wasn't perfect. It, you know, we didn't. Uh, the, the heaviest weight didn't um, go the farthest, but as he did increase the weight, it did go farther. So we don't want to say he was totally wrong, but at the same time, he w his hypothesis is not totally correct either. So we'll just say my hypothesis was somewhat supported. And then we want to say why or why not. And so here we're going to say, you know, kind of restate what, what happened. Um, so my control group... The airplane with no paper clips Oops, that's two words traveled only uh, what would it travel three meters. one paper clip on the airplane travel five meters we can actually state an increase of two meters which is pretty good the paper paper airplane with two paper clips went three meters farther to 
eight, or we could say four eight total of eight meters. The th paper airplane with three paper clips went actually we could say um, yeah it was uh, went uh, only six meters okay again explaining that um, showing that it did go down a little bit even though you know according to our uh, Joe Schmo's hypothesis it should actually went farther uh, now we're going to go to the next thing. We'll start a new paragraph on this one. And uh, what we want to do is go to what did you learn? And so what did we learn? You know, I learned that as you increase the weight of the paper airplane, it does travel farther up to a certain weight. Once the paper airplane gets too heavy, that's actually two O's, too heavy, it does not travel as far. Our last part, we're going to say what will we do next time. The next time I do this experiment, I might want to change where I put the paper paper clips. Because that might have a you know an effect on how it flies and, and how far it flies. Um, also, you know, thinking I might also develop a method for launching the paper airplanes at a constant force because you know each time you throw it you might throw a little harder one time a little stronger the next time and another thing is I also would want to have multiple trials to get an average doing it just once probably not real good we probably want to do this over and over again and then get an average. And that may way our results are more accurate. But this is a, a good conclusion for a simple um, experiment. Uh, it explains you know, what you did, whether your hypothesis was supported or not, and what you learned and what you would do next time. I hope this helps.